Friday, guys. Oh, I can't help myself. We we have to listen to Hella Cravings because it's Friday, and we're gonna make snack stuff. I love it. Did want some addict. No. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Oh man. Okay, so let's get started. Today we're gonna make some of my favorite easy keto snacks. I have done these ones with you guys before, but I thought, you know what, it's Friday, we're getting geared up for the weekend, we want movie night snacks, we might be hanging out with some of our friends, so let's make up some of my favorite snacks. So I use about two tablespoons worth of cheese, and I just cut myself off a nice little chunk like that. We're gonna take our parchment paper, and this is a one step, no fuss, no muss deal. And we're going to fold it in half. Then we're just going to melt our cheese, add our nut flour, which I'm going to use my bake in a minute mix for, and you just roll them out and cook them. It's that easy. They're my favorite. If my family's having chips or candy or some kind of snacks like that, this is something that I can whip together for myself in two minutes. I'm going to tell you a secret. Do a double batch, because every time I do chips, they eat mine, and I'm like, you have your own junk garbage potato chips. Get that's not yours. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of my bake in a minute mix, and I'm just gonna eyeball two tablespoons because I didn't bring a tablespoon with me over here. And I make these all of the time, so it's really easy to eyeball it when it's something that you're used to making. We're gonna add some flavor. Let's do. Let's do a buffalo ranch. So we'll add some of my Frank's Red Hot. And then some of my Select Savory Seasonings Ranch flavor. And then we're just going to mix this all in together. It is easier to mix it by hand than it is to try to do it in a bowl. And also, this is the fun part. Like, this is the part that makes us go, woo, it's Friday. <laughs> you can do it in a bowl if you want to. If you don't like to get all messy, messy, you can do it all professional style if you want to. But I think if you're making this recipe, especially with your kids, this is the fun part that you get to play with it like Play-Doh and roll it out by hand and get a little messy, have a little fun, smush stuff around a little bit. I'm all in for that. Okay, so let's get the rest of our nut flour incorporated. And then we're just gonna roll this out. So we got that in there nice. Now, because I've played with it a little bit of time, my fingers are gross, um, it is a little bit solid. So we're gonna put it in the microwave for five seconds just to loosen up the cheese again. And while that's going on, I'm going to clean my hands real quick. All right. Yay! We're so close to being done now. Okay, here's our cheese. Grab our rolling pin. The thinner you roll it out, the crispier your chips are going to be. So I try to roll it out to fit pretty much the whole thickness of my paper if I can. and thin. I'm going to recenter my dough a little bit because we're kind of off on one side there. Oh, that smells so nice. Ranch and buffalo, I think, is my favorite flavor combination. What about you guys? I'm curious. What's your favorite flavor? I, I love bacon, too. I, I love anything that has a bacon flavor. Bacon maple? Oh, my goodness. 
I, I will like, if you make anything bacon maple, I will totally be your new best friend. I'm, I'm putting it out there. I, I wouldn't do a lot for a Klondike bar, but I would do some shady stuff for bacon. Let's, let's be honest for two seconds about that. So we've got them nice and rolled out thin. I've got one thick corner that I'm going to roll a little bit more. And this is what it looks like when it's all rolled out. Now I like to flip it from one side to the other just to make sure that it's not stuck to either side of my paper. And then this goes in the microwave for the same 30 seconds at a time until they're crispy. I usually find in my microwave it takes about a minute and a half but again if you're doing it 30 seconds at a time then you're not going to burn them or ruin them and waste ingredients because I think when we're experimenting with new things with keto that's the hardest is when we spend a lot of money on ingredients and then it ends up being something we can't eat so I'm just gonna hit the garbage real quick and I'm going to talk to you guys about the third recipe we're going to do. We might have to come back and do a part two for it, but we're going to make a variation of my popcorn recipe and we're going to turn it into little bagel bites. So we're going to pipe it out into little bagel-y shapes and cook those up as well. But I have a feeling we might be coming back for part two. Those in for another 30 seconds. And then our cheese chips are done. And we made uh, buffalo ranch cheese chips. So I added my Frank's Red Hot and my Select Savory Seasonings ranch seasoning to them. And you can use any flavor that you want. If you want to do garlic or butter or, um, I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you love? I, I really love sour cream and onion flavor. Uh, Josh says, I've been off keto all week and getting some pizza. And you know what? It happens. You know what? Live a little, dude. It ain't going to kill you. You'll get back on track. I know you love the keto, so I I'm not going to give you a hard time, dude. That's, that's not how we do around here. I don't give nobody a hard time. So our cheese chips are all cooked. And the same thing, as they cool, they will crisp up. So I will take some pictures for you guys. I'll plate this all up, post it on my feed for you so you can see how I made it, and then we're gonna get back together and do the little mini bagel bites.